So for us to post our information from the API, we actually use WP insert post, which is a WordPress function. And all it does is that it inserts a post. It can post all this information that comes usually by default to posts, but you can also add your own meta values inside that post. So we have an example here whereby we're getting a, a post object and then we are, all we are doing is we are inserting it inside the post. So what I'm going to do is just capture this and then I'm going to go back to our outgoing SMS and then I'm going to paste this inside our function that we created and we actually called store inside SMS. So I'll copy this and then I will punch this right here. So I'll save this, I'll add a semicolon and then I am going to pass in the response here so that it can be used by that function. So we'll have that as an argument and save this. So what I'm going to do is uh, go back to my techie press, allow for one more SMS to be sent and when it's sent we shall be able to see the post object that we actually get back in our outgoing SMS. So first and foremost I just want to get the response that comes back. So save this here, let's go back, hit our SMS plus in and we'll see that we get our information coming back in our body. We have a status, we have a cost right here. Uh, of course the headers give us that it, it's a status 200 and so we're able to differentiate, we're able to show the different statuses given the different feedbacks from the status code. So we know that while we were sending this data send API we had different pieces of our object being sent to this particular field. So we'll pick the information from here and then we shall add it to this. So what I'm going to do is I actually just strip off this JSON encode at this point and what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add it here at the point when we are sending to the body so that I can actually reuse uh, this particular object. So I'll get this Neto API, I am able to get the user data, or oh, I'm able to get the message data at this point. So I'll get the data and then that's what I'll be passing to this particular field. Now in our post array we don't have a title, we don't have content, we don't have a, the status is published, that's okay. Uh, we don't need to add an author and the category, uh, we don't need the content, uh, the title will we'll fabricate our own title, but I'm more interested in adding meta keys at this point and at this point we add the meta by adding meta input. This will take in an array, inside this array you're actually able to add the different meta fields that you do need. So for example I'll add data send API onto that, I am going to map uh, the message, message data and then onto that I am going to map the number. Now inside this meta out meta input, I just need to go back to this file and I'll look up what are we looking for. We're looking for the sender ID number one, we're looking for the message status, we're looking for the message, we're looking for the sent numbers. So number one is we are looking for the sender ID and that comes with this meta key. So sender ID meta key, come back here, uh, I'll duplicate this. So sender ID meta key, what we need to do is actually get the sender ID at this point and add it here. Next is we're going to need the numbers, so we're going to get the sender's numbers field. So I'll copy this and add it in this meta key and add it in the meta input. Then I'll duplicate this, come back, get also the message, copy this uh, here and then we'll pick the message from here, copy then we'll add the message for the message field and then finally uh, what we are doing is we want to get the status, we want to get the status as well, so I'll duplicate this and add the status. Now give or take the status is going to actually, we're going to get the status from our own stored uh, status, so I'm just going to pass this in inside this field here, we're going to pick it from this point when we actually pass in our response uh, in the different fields. So I'm going to copy this response. So we're going to pass in the response, we're going to pass in the status and I also want to pass in the data send API 
data. So we'll pass that in as well so that we can tap it. We can tap this. Then from the response, we are going to be able to get the response here. We're going to get the, 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 the code for the response. And depending on the code, that will be the status. We shall get our status from that particular point. So at this point, let me just get the status. So the status will equal to the WP remote retrieve. And at this point, we are going to get the header or the status. So we want to get the code and we shall pass in the response at this point here. So if our status at this point is equal to 200, so we start off with 200 is equal to status and we can make this three equal signs, then our status will equal to success. Shall pass in a string of success to show that it actually went through. And then if it's anything else, then our status is actually going to equal to uh, failed. So duplicate this, move this down, and then I'll call this failed. So we know that we're actually going to pass a status from here, which is either success or failed. So when we pass it in here, we're actually working. I'll uncomment this. When we pass in, we need to pass these in in their particular order. So when we pass in the status, we know that the status will either be failed or it will be success at that point. Uh, so data send API will give us different information we need. Then what we need to do with the response here is actually we want to get the body and then get the status if it's okay. Uh, we need to find the cost. I'll comment this out for now. Then what I'm going to do here is actually get the WP remote retrieve body and I'm going to get the response here. So this will give us our results. I'm going to JSON decode this and then after JSON decoding our results I'll be able to get the different pieces. So from the results we'll know we'll get the status whether it's okay. And yeah, so we're going to get the cost, we're also going to get the status. So at this point, I can actually just get the status by saying result, then append this and get status here. So we can do more refinements to find out if everything else uh, works out well, but we'll just add this as a status. So okay, or fail, or be coming from there. So we don't need to do much of this uh, at this point here. So I'll just delete this and keep what comes in by default here. I'll also remove this point here and then fail it. If we have a failure, then I'll automatically fail this. Uh, so that means here at this point, I need to return. So I'll, I just need to return. So I'm going to return this and then delete this, meaning nothing else will be executed. But if everything passes out well, we have a status of 200, we should have this showing up here. Run this function, pass in this data, and then pass in the status here. And then what I'm going to do is just add another field and then I'll call this uh, SMS cost. So we'll have an SMS cost key here and then from the result we shall have cost. So meaning we come back to our admin fields here and then we shall add also the cost. So I can just duplicate this and then I'll, I'll change this. Uh, go back here, look at this key, copy it, come back and change this SMS cost key and then I'll edit this. So we have an SMS cost key here, same key we shall have here, and then <coughs> I'll just uh, get this also and change this sender ID to SMS cost and save this right here. So if we come back to our messages, we still also don't have this showing up. So we'll have SMS cost and then we shall call this our cost at this point. So allow me to just make one SMS send out after saving this and let's see what we actually get. So at the end of the day, we'll have gotten all of this and then passed in. We just pass in into our post and then we'll see that we actually get our SMS. So let me click this. We have our SMS showing up Let me go to the messages. So we're not seeing that here because we forgot one argument here, which should actually be post type. So we'll add our post type and the post type we're going to add is SMS. So I'll save this and the moment of truth, hit SMS plugin here, see what comes. Let's check here, we'll see. We have edit, a new post was created which is successful. However, we did not 
get our information uh, showing up before we send anything here let me just update let me get an option update option so that we don't send so many sms's we shall later delete that uh, option so sms result that will be our option and what we're going to do is we're going to save our response so let me just get this right here let me just get this as response terminate it here save it uh, let me get this as our response then I'll save that inside our value and then we shall use that to save our data when we can see what's going on so let me hit that again we have that so let us get our option get option and the option that we're going to get is sms underscore results and then what we need to do is that dump it and save so reload and we have our first value of status here so in this case if we are adding so now we have to always check when we're sending sms's we actually don't have failures of not having enough money if a json decode uh, the response that we have here i should be able to get at least from the response i should be able to get the status which is failed as we publish to our sms so let me undo this save and then reload this and get failed status when we go to messages i have two messages and we have our status of failed actually coming right there so that's brilliant so what i'm going to do again uh, here is instead of wasting our failed we should be able to add a message here and say for example when this happens when we ping and we have a message here we should be able to add that to our status i'll come back here status and then append using two dots i'll use space in between add a dash and i'm going to get results and then i'll add on the message result then i'll add message so save this this is not the best way to do this i should be able to cross check if this actually works out so i'll reload this we have a failed come back check this and see our status of uh, what's happening here now i just need to find out why i'm not getting my data send api message and then getting the sender id showing up here so let me get this and then i will the dump that save it let's go and send so i have my method and then inside have user data and i have message data let me also the dump like sender id to see what's happening reload and it is now so let me save this reload this is also null so when we dump this we'll actually see that this is decoded it's a json encoded i don't know why it's json encoded but let's try to decode it and see if we will save our data so uh the reason we are doing this is we are getting that object wrong in how we send this data so i'm just going to append uh a few elements here wrap this in a single quotes and do the same for this so wrap that in single quotes and then we should be able to do the same for all the others copy this paste this then just get uh, the number here cut it paste message cut paste and save this the missing piece is actually adding that in this is the first array of data so we add zero to this and then we'll add the zero to that then we'll take away our dump that we are having here save this uh, come back to our messages let us just delete everything here that's there go back and send so we have a message success when we come back here we have a message we we'll click edit we'll see that we have our id we have a cost we have our message we have the numbers and this is working out brilliantly this is what we needed to do so we can see that our data now actually comes back because we got everything right so from the data that comes from uh, our object up here we just need to pass it into our store inside cpt and then pass it in here get the message but because we know that's the first array that's coming in then we add the zero and then we add the sender id or the number or the message to actually wrap all of this here and that's why we are getting all this information here now just to make this a lot cleaner and better for the ui we know that the cost is going to be zero so 
in the event that we have an empty or null cost, uh, we should now start sanitizing this and know that if it's empty or if it is null, then we should throw back a zero. So we, we need to add some if statements and let me just get this and wrap it inside a variable. So I'll just get a variable called cost here and it's at this point where I'm going to get the cost is equal to this and then wrap here. So I know if it is not equal to, if it's not equal to null, I need to do this in a Yoda format. So null would be zero. If it is not equal to null or if it's not empty or not empty, so not empty. If that is not empty, then we shall get that as a result. Else, then cost will equal to zero as the value. So we'll save that. Uh, we need to just wrap this properly and then, yeah terminate this, save. We cannot use this over and over again so I'm going to copy this and then just say cost, cost as that and then I'll come back here and say cost is equal to that, save. So we have it here, if it's not null, or is not empty, sorry, if if cost is not null and is not empty, then the cost will be equal to that. However, if it is empty or if it is null, then the cost will be zero. So let's try to do that. Uh, we also need to check this. If this is not empty, if this particular field is not empty, then we can add that. We have a couple of things to check that whether they're empty or so and so. Uh, we need to check, we need to sanitize all this data that's going inside our database. So we need to be very clear about about how we do this. So I'm going to just try one more time to see what's happening. Go back to our messages, check the second message, and we'll see now that we have a cost of zero, we have a message, we have everything working out well, and that is what we are looking for. So the only thing that we need to do is actually just show these numbers on the admin side, and then we'll wrap up this video. I'm going to go back to our custom. So we're going to use one other filter uh, to add our content in there, and it's called uh, the man and we'll use our post type which is SMS post column and this is a singular so custom column so custom column and this is singular and now in here we're going to add data so take it press add custom column data so I'll copy this and then I'll just start up a function here and then I will add this data from this point so we're going to be looking for the different uh, pieces of data as we've stored them in these different columns we'll need these columns actually right here so I'm just going to paste them here uh, to make it easy. So we're going to do a switch uh, statement but first of all this filter alone gives you the columns, it gives you columns coming in, it also gives you the post ID uh, that you do get. So I'll just utilize those for now. So we're going to do a switch statement and we'll start off with switch and we're going to switch for each column that we're getting. So this is column not to uh, not to, to confuse, it's just singular column. So we'll do a case and we'll say for the case where we are looking at the sender ID here, all we need to do is we're going to come and we're going to actually echo. And what we're going to echo is similarly what we've been doing here. So we're going to get the post meta sender ID true. And I realize in these points we did not put semicolons, which is very bad PHP, but we are getting away with it because it was just one line of code. So making that correction here. So I'm going to come and echo this and terminate. Then I need to break this because I'm done. I've echoed and I need to break. So I'm done for the sender ID. So for example, let me close this. Let me save that. Let's have a look at what's happening here. And we have some issues showing up because I passed the wrong post ID. So I need to copy this, paste this here. The reason why this is also broken is because I did not pass a priority and also talk about the two uh, and also don't talk about the two arguments that I'm actually passing inside this function. So let me save this and then when I reload this you'll actually see that we have a sukuma coming from our ID here. So let's add all the other pieces and see uh, how that evolves. So we just need to duplicate this and then we shall get the different pieces. So send 
send, paste here, send, number count, we shall have to count the numbers that are in there, stars, status, SMS status, shall add the status, cost, shall add the cost in here. So just need to get the other pieces, send numbers, send numbers field is going to help us with our count. We shall write a function for that. We have the message field, come back here, paste it in our message. And then we have the sender ID cost, get the cost counted for us here. And then we just need to get the status also. So we'll get the status and add it here. So save this after cleaning this out, save this and reload and we have our values uh, showing up here. With this at hand, let me just add some credit to my account and let's try a successful message. Let's try this one more time, reload and then let's hit plugin, get a response that's okay. Let's go back to our messages. We see that we have okay as a message so and our phone just buzzed with a message you can get it so this is how this looks like uh, we have a couple of things to do in our code to make it cleaner to sanitize it because all this data is going inside our database uh, we can make this also look just a little bit nice um, wrap it with a span and add a little green color to it make this with a failed maybe pink or red color just to distinguish it to show what's happening. So this is uh, how we are doing this and how we are showing this inside our custom admin. So I hope this is working out as you thought it would. Let me know in the comments what you think about how we are heading, how we are doing this, are we doing the right approach? Should we just throw all this content into a custom database or should we keep this uh, as it is? For now, this is going to help us to do all of this, but I'm going to set up and show another admin side whereby we can actually just create our SMS and type inside our boxes, verify that we have enough data because our database right now actually knows how much we have on our account to be able to allow us to send a particular number of messages. So in the next video, we'll be looking at the number count, we'll be looking at the admin side to make sure that we are doing everything correctly. Thank you for watching the video, enjoy your coding.